guys welcome to another vlog so it is sunday and we just got out of church so i decided to bring the kids to the park and let them get some of their energy out before we go home and do schoolwork and housework and get ready for the upcoming week that plane is very loud but again like i said i'm at the park um my boys are somewhere back there and my daughter is sitting under a tree. I really almost didn't make it to church today because I didn't feel like getting dressed. So I just put on a LuLaRoe top with some leggings, but I'm glad that I did make it to church because my spirit was moved by just the overall message of the service. I really feel like since I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, I've been over medicated. Um, last week, I told you guys, a lot of you guys, that I was feeling under the weather. I started breaking out in hives. I started having these little brain tickles. And I was on the verge of taking myself to the emergency room because I just knew that something wasn't right. During that whole episode, I ran out of a certain medication. And... I haven't had that medication for about a week now and honestly I feel better taking one medication than I did taking two medications so I feel like maybe I was being over it medicated maybe the side effects of taking two medications were starting to show itself in the hives and the brain zaps and then just overall not feeling well so I'm going to talk to my psychiatrist and tell him I don't want to take all these medicines if it's not absolutely necessary I don't want to take it you know I'm gonna go undergo some psychological testing to make sure that my diagnosis is accurate and that I'm being treated the way that I need to be treated. But hopefully everybody is agree in agreement with me when I say I don't need all this medication because I feel good. Today I woke up, I cooked my kids breakfast, we got ready for church, we went to church, we had lunch at church, now we're at the park, I'm gonna go home and cook dinner. Like I feel good, I feel okay. So. I don't need to continue taking all this extra medication that makes me feel more bad than good, you know? And I'm not opposed to people taking medicine or myself taking medicine, but too much is not good and too little is not good. So we just need to find the right ratio for me. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about this girl that I met. Well, I haven't really met her in person, but I met her over the phone and she is a marketing specialist that's what i was saying and i normally don't make business moves if my spirit does not align with the person or the work that they're doing and she just reminded me that our overall goal should be doing kingdom business you know and i felt like that was the beginning of a beautiful professional and maybe even personal relationship with this young lady because we need people in our lives that are going to support us and motivate us, but also keep us on the right track. Keep us focused. Remind us of what the end goal is. The end goal is not to be rich. The end goal is not to be famous. The end goal is to do God's work and have him be satisfied with that. Um, so I'm very grateful to her for joining my team. Well, she hasn't officially joined my team yet, but she'll be on my team um, this upcoming year to help me grow my YouTube business as well as my health and wellness company. Um, I will let you guys know all the details of, on my health and wellness company and when it will open, probably early spring. But it is something I'm very passionate about because, again, if I'm bipolar and there are herbal remedies or there are things to ease my anxiety or my stress or just the symptoms, then I'd rather do that. Here comes my son. <laughs> Thank you. Where's my baby? Um... So I just want to take my time with this company because it is one of my babies and I want to let it mature and let it grow. And I'm so happy to have met her because I think she's going to help take both of my companies a long way. And by her helping me, I'm also helping her by growing her company by being a client. So I'm very grateful for that. I see myself in 2020 not being a slave to a nine to five. I see myself not having to wait to purchase things that I need. I see myself being able to supply my kids with more than 
just what they need but also some of the things of what they want and i see myself in the house in 2020 so i'm just really grateful for the opportunity and no matter what i do no matter how far i go no matter what i invest in it's always for the lord so i will catch you guys a little bit later on my son is standing here wanting my attention i don't know what he wants but um i will catch you guys back at home when i clean up and cook i'll i'll record some of that for you guys all right see you guys later Turn around and run. I'm still sitting in the same spot I was in the last clip. Um, my son just wanted my attention for a minute, but I think that it's very important that we constantly remind ourselves why we're doing what we're doing and who we're doing it for. And my end game has always been, I wanna open a home and shelter. Like there are so many people out here that are homeless because of, you know, drug addiction or mental illness or just needing that helping hand to get off the street and make a better life for themselves and i just always had the heart for that my mom had the heart for that my grandma had the heart for that and that's what i really want to do yes of course i want to be able to to financially support my children and live a certain kind of lifestyle but in the end i just want to be able to support my community as well um I already know the name of my shelter is going to be called Anita. No, it's going to be called Marie Lane. And it's kind of like a, a playoff of Skid Row, but Marie Lane, because that's my mom's name. Um, and it's going to be a fully functioning, high tech um, homeless shelter that has plenty of beds, showers, um, computer labs, clothing closets, cafeteria, like family reunification rooms where we come together and we find family members and we try to unify families and you know all of that good stuff and we're gonna have a, a you know a pastor come in and preach every Sunday for those who need the word like it's gonna be all around um just all needs satisfying sorry my phone just did a little something but it's gonna be for those people that don't have somewhere to go when normal shelters put them out at 7 a.m. It's gonna be for those people who just need a helping hand. I mean, I wanna home a lot of people. I There's this Lowe's building that sits in the middle of nowhere that I always pray over. If Lord, if I can't have that building, I want something like it because it's just so perfect. It's out of the way. It's not in any residential neighborhood and it's not in a fully saturated um retail area it's just perfect out of the way and it's not that our homeless people should be thrown away or out of the way 
but you know people will complain why are we home housing these these people and they would just assume the worst about these people why are we housing them in our community well i want to take a stand i mean i've been told that that's a big undertaking and that there's a lot of people willing to support me if i go ahead and take you know the lead but this is not just my community it's everybody's community i have i want to call him my homeless guy his name is gabriel i see him when i see him i always buy him food um i, I always ask him what he wants because nine times out of ten when you give a homeless person something if it's not money it's something that you want to give so i ask him what do you want want to eat today do you need clothes do you need shoes and i try to help him out to the best of my ability and i asked him one day are you ready to be off the streets and he said yes i said will you pray for me so that i can bless you and i'm gonna pray for you so that you can bless me um and it's it's a, a, a overall great experience like i give to him when i ain't got you know if i go i five dollars in my hand and i see him i'm giving him four on food because a lot of my needs are met sometimes i fall short but he is living on the streets sleeping under a piece of cardboard on a sidewalk and he told me this is not the life that i want but i'm i'm addicted i'm addicted to drugs and this is where it lands me and the last time i saw him he said that he was ready to be off of the streets and i just wished i was in more of a position to help him but one day i'll be in a position to help everyone in my community and god will be pleased i will be pleased and everyone will be happy so that's enough of me ranting for right now <sighs> hope you guys this sunday has gone very well let me know what you guys did or are doing or plan to do um in the comment section below help me grow this page also i really want to make a name for myself in youtube streets i don't want to be youtube famous for the things that i can get but i want to be youtube famous for the love that i can spread so you know if you have a friend share my channel with them if you know just just let's grow this family but again i'll see you guys when i get home um i got some homeschooling to do today i have some um cooking and cleaning and i just seen one of my church members roll up from roll up to the park so i'm gonna probably sit here and spend some a little bit of time with her and i will see you guys when i get home